I think we're still talking about the uh, yeah HEDT stuff. HEDT workstations uses multiple adding cards. Needs the PCI lanes, the dual Broadwell twenty two core Xenons. Other prices crazy low now. Will it outperform the fifty nine hundred X in professional workloads? Broadwell is not that fast anymore. I know you talked about tweaking your your sixty eight uh, your sixty nine fifty X. Yeah, those were overclockable and they had some room in them. I overclocked some of mine. I didn't like the heat and the power consumption. The power consumption and the heat goes insane. Well, whether it does or not, if you need the PCI lanes, the 5900X doesn't give you the PCI lanes that you need. Thanks, having a think. There is a company. How do you pronounce that? Uh, Puget. Puget Systems. Pu Pu yep. Puget Systems. These guys are pros at building professional workstations. They do not build gaming computers. I mean, they do, but they don't. That's not what they do. These guys build make money computers. And they they build Threadripper Pros, rack mount systems, custom systems. Yeah, they'll build ordinary computers too, but this is the kind of thing that they specialize in. And if you absolutely positively want, for example, the this is the Sapphire Rapids that he mm -hmm. was talking about before. Yep. Here is a, and you have options here, for example, if you want the 56 core um, chip, it is grand. all yours. If you're happy with the 24 core chip, Rock on. But let's say you take 64 cores. 56? What did I say? 64. 56 cores, 512 gigs, and this is ECC RAM, yep, yep, registered yep. RAM. Okay. We're going and, shopping. And we're going to go ahead and throw, you know what? If you're doing serious work, you don't want a 4090. You want one of these things. Yeah. Um, you an A6000 with 48 gigs of VRAM. Okay. And storage one terabyte. That's not large enough. No. We'll go ahead and make the boot drive a two terabyte drive. But you're gonna need more storage than that. Look at this way. You're We're at eighteen thousand dollars. Twenty grand. <laughs> wow, that's some serious work. It's a bit of a pickle. Does a faster computer make you more money? Well, if they need. If the, so, this is nothing. If they need the PCI lanes, then that's. If that's if important. I had a graphic artist working for me that I paid $100,000 a year to produce work for me in Blender and other type programs full time. Yep. They would have one of these on their desk in three seconds flat. Well, yeah, because you would... I would get my money's worth out of it by having them be more productive. This is the biggest no-brainer ever. The minute the person using the computer has a dollar figure attached to them. Well, yeah, if the computer keeps crashing because of RAM or it's slow to scrub or you can't render when you're scrubbing, I mean, it really does slow you down. This is just a business use case transaction. It, it's worth it. Or you are financially independently wealthy and you just don't care. And which, I mean, you, know, you won the Powerball lottery, you're now a billionaire. I mean, when, sure. you, when you have a specific use case, it, it's going to cost you some money. Now, here's what's cool about these guys. Now, he's in New Zealand, isn't he? He's in New Zealand. Well, I'm sure for enough money to chip it there. But here's what I like about these guys. They offer consulting. If you want to figure out whether or not Threadripper Pro is, going to be... is a better choice than the Sapphire Rapids, then... All right, let's go shopping with them. 64 cores, 512 gigs of RAM. That's a little bit cheaper, not much. The price difference is meaningless. I mean, it is it's cheaper. It's a grand. <laughs> you don't pick one or the other over no. that price difference. No. You pick it whether which which one does your job better, the Threadripper Pro or, or, or the uh, Sapphire Rapids. Who cares? Yep. Um, that's like saying, do I buy the Ferrari that's 320000 or the Lamborghini that's 340000 
You don't pick those two cars based on the 20 grand. No, no. It's which one do you like more? Which one? Okay, in that case, it's which one you like more, but you yep, get the point. I do. I, um. Coffee just said Gamers Nexus just bought a uh, editing computer from them. Interesting. He didn't build it. Hmm. Support. They keep spare parts. They provide rapid support. Mm. They keep you operating and running. And it's somebody that basically says, fix, fix it. this. That's true. What does it cost to have somebody who does this kind of work be down for three days? Mm -hmm. He says he's got 5K spare for a PC. Well, then they GDT is not is, your world. It's not in the budget. A 7950X or a 13900K is your world. $5,000 does not in any way, shape, or form. Do a GDT, no. There's a, few, there's a zero missing off of that. Um, the Sapphire Rapid CPU you asked about before, unless I'm confusing people, which I sometimes no, do. No, 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 you know. That alone is like a $2,500 CPU that goes in a $900 mother. I mean, your, your $5,000 budget only covers the CPU and the motherboard. Yeah, that's three grand, over three grand right and there. And that motherboard, the minute you put registered ECC RAM in there, you're going to fall down with that costs. Yeah, um, that's what's amazing. QA Library just said uh, Pugo Systems publishes all of their white papers and their tests for free. They have tons of benchmarks yeah. on their site. They've got tons of information about what they do on their site for free. They are an absolutely good resource if you're building a serious machine and you want support. Yeah, support. Here's the other thing. They don't sell overclock systems. They don't sell custom open loop cooler nonsense. They're not RGB gamers. They sell machines that are meant to be dependable. And so they do reliability testing. Mm. And so, for example, the RAM they put in their machines, they test. Did you notice they had Sabre Rocket SSDs in there? I did. They switched to those from Samsung because they did, ex they have an, a, a blog article on their site. They kind of They did a, yes, they did a bunch of testing on them. They actually tested a variety of SSDs. Right. And they made that switch when they found that. Hmm. What they're selling is ultra reliable, not the fastest you could possibly tweak this. Um, was Slow Harbor the one who was commenting how he tweaked his 6950X? I think so. Yeah, you don't tweak these systems. <laughs> it's, yeah, because it might work for a while, but you don't know when and where degradation is going to come from, from an overclocked CPU or too much voltage well, yeah, or stability. Exactly. What you need is ultra dependable. You, yes, you do. Stable, yep. Plum, stable.